Well, well, the biggies, as you know, because you're a fiscal hawk, um, are defense spending. Mm -hmm. Would you be open to defense spending? Cutting well, defense spending, I should say? I, look, I, I, I wouldn't I, I don't, I don't, if you start saying, well, education spending versus dispense, look, I think you can find a massive efficiency in spending in, in every department but of the government. But there are very big buckets, as mm -hmm. you know, that have the most size. Sure. Uh, so defense spending or yeah. cuts to Social Security, Medicare, yeah. Medicaid, those would be the biggest buckets. Yeah, well, let, so let's, I'm going to jump around a little bit. You just brought up Social Security. Social Security, 23% cut in, every, in Social Security benefits are coming eight years from now. That's, that's in the law. That is fact. That's happening. Every senior in America should be very concerned that Joe Biden says, I'm not doing anything about it. Even Donald Trump says, me neither. They're joining at the hip saying, Massive cuts are coming to Social Security benefits, and we're not doing anything about it. How about a candidate that steps forward and say, we're going to fix that. We're going to make sure that doesn't happen. We're going to create opportunity, uh, efficiency in the system. Well, not you've just talked a, about that. I mean, you've yeah. talked about supporting privatizing Social Security. Is that something It's not just still about privatizing. I mean, that, that's, that's kind of an easy answer. It's really about creating other opportunities, options for the individual in terms of how they invest their dollars and ensuring that we can get... Uh, kind of the fiscal house back in order before these 23, this 23% this cut isn't coming two decades from now. It's literally coming eight years from now. Well, it's, Biden and, and Trump just don't it care. It requires tough political conversations, which you, we have not, you I don't think it's that tough. Well, but you have not, you've not shied away from, yeah. would you be open to raising the retirement age? I think if someone wanted to move the retirement age, yeah, look, did they do it in France? Did they do it in Chile? They did it in all these other countries with, without a problem. Now, do you have to move it to 70? No, I don't think you have to go that, that far. You can look at the, the actual numbers, but the retirement age hasn't moved in decades, or maybe ever. I, I, I don't know. You'd, you'd probably know better than I. So I think there's just a lot of other doors that have to be opened and, and addressed, addressed and, and talked about.